Hello guys, welcome back to the Defiance. But the mutants beat us here. Take them out. Yeah. So this is episode number eight, the last episode of this beta week, and uh, the beta coverage we have for the Defiance. And uh, today we're going to puzzle around with some small things we haven't really looked at yet. Nothing serious, no particular quest, and summarize a little bit what we talked about in the other ones, and a little bit of the. Uh, impressions we got of the beta so far. But first. Nen, 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 nen. Let's see how far, we, how fast we can do this. <laughs> I haven't tried this for a long time now, and I can't really, really remember the way. I seem to recall that this was faster. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, I did miss it. Maybe one of my better runs ever. Oh. Let's do. No, no! Detecting fast moving organic life forms. Looks oh, yeah. like the Hellbucks found us. Really? Well, I'm doing the speed race course thing. Oh! oh I hit it. Yeah, silver for that for that awesome run. Point fifty seven. Someone did it in point fifty. Meh. Now I'm stuck here. You get some rewards though. Oh yeah. So this part down here, we haven't really been doing missions in this area, and I haven't looked a whole lot at it myself. Eh, myself. This is part of the area that we only had access to in Alpha for a while before I sort of forgot that I had access to the Alpha. <laughs> uh, oh, leggy leggy leggy. But I did try some things here. Like different types of mobs here. Also cool, cool place. Places you can drive people over. Drive over people. Oh, no, no, no. Come here. Have some. A uh, little bit of uh, performance issues here. So I find there's a farm of some kind down here. Full of hell bugs, of course. Like any good farm is. There we go. I'm guessing this will have something to do with the with the series. I'm not basing that on anything, but my gut feeling it seems like something that would be in the series. Like I don't know anything about the series, but if I'm right, this will be a major part of the story in the series. This this far the ranch here. Anyways, this guy is also part of the story. Some no, not that guy. No, not that guy either. That guy. Maybe. Yo. No, okay. So I don't know who. Um. Yeah, anyway, so in the last episode we discovered that... Oh. Iron Demon Ranch. A bunch of these things here. I don't really need to buy those things because... I could just buy these tier 4 lockboxes full of stuff. Buy. Pay with bits. And shkabong. What else do I have? Let's get another one. Try them out. Maybe I'm full. Yeah. Okay, so, um. First thing I wanted to do in this last episode here is go and test out some weapons that we haven't tried before. Because apparently I have a lot of those bits. So I can just keep purchasing like the highest quality stuff. And what good is high quality stuff if you can't shoot stuff with it? I do believe <coughs> that's not what that sign was for. I do believe there was a lot of things to shoot in this general direction. 
seems to be stuff going on down here. Yes. Exactly. Of course there's a bunch of things we haven't covered either. Uh, I'm no expert on the game, just wanted to let you guys in on some gameplay. I hope you have come to expect those kind of videos from this channel. A little light exploring. Let's see if we can find some more bugs here-ish. Maybe. We've got multiple targets. Oh, Let's take here maybe. Oh, there's a turret. Something else. Another farm. Oh, okay. That's a nice guy. Thought I did some questing here a long time ago. Around here anyway. Should be a bunch of evil monsters. Oh, more pigs. Oh, water! No! Don't go in the water. Water is less dangerous than I had feared. <laughs> Not sure if you can get up though from the water. Huh. Okay, well, there's a boat. Not the very best swimming animation I have ever observed. But I I guess I guess it's okay. This place is oh <laughs> he can jump out of water though, like a hero. Like a boss, and he can't swim under bridges. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, whew. I heard that splash and I thought that was like, oh, there's a, some kind of giant fish in the water here. Which wouldn't be too unlikely. Is there anything here? No. Okay, the quest continues. How do we get onto the land again? Can I swim here? Okay, so here you can swim. Oh, <laughs> holy moly. Yeah, you can jump. Okay. So can you jump up there though? No, you cannot. Almost. <laughs> you can jump straight out of here. So what's supposed to happen here? I'm like, supposed to be stuck on this boat forever now or what? Okay, there we go. Uh, so we've tried out this weapon and this weapon, both of which I kind of like. Let's see, what else have we picked up with these weird kind of things here? Those are the two purple ones. And then fire assault carabine. You can try that. And the VBI, VBI auto shotgun. VOT Bolter, Nano Fragger, oh, so many weird things to try out. Summarizing a little bit from before, what I like about the game, driving, <laughs> how it looks, the graphical style. Um, generally, it's just it's just fun to play, which is some like in a non-complicated way, and you know I'm always looking for for the really complicated stuff because um, eventually I like I find gameplay to be fun if it lets me really dive into it into the mechanics of the game this is nothing like this this is just fun to play I, it's, it sort of lets me understand like why people would for example choose to play a racing game with no upgrades or anything RPG ish in it just for the racing just for the fun that's the kind of fun that this is. As for uh, replayability, so to say, or longevity of the game, I don't think I would be playing it for very long. I mean, it's like something you could log into and have fun for a short while, and but I don't really the end game or whatever. I don't know what the end game is, but what is this doing? 
I don't know what the end game is like, but for an MMO, uh, I can already see that there's like in the beginning when you choose your character, like you can sort of choose classes, although they are only names, unless they plan to change that, which I have no clue whether they do or not. Unless they plan to give people roles, there is nothing in it for me in terms of of long-term play or investment in the game. Because, uh, yeah, because everyone's the same, and you you have no particular purpose in a group. Uh, you saw in video number something that we did the arc falls. Was that what it was called? I think. Anyways. Grilled pig, that's what they are for. And in the in that video the We did something grouping ish. Even though that wasn't instanced. I don't even know if there is instanced grouping in this game. But even so, that's it's basically just to zerg something for a long enough time and if you're many enough people you will get it done and what you exactly it is that you get done you don't really know you've been just been shooting at things for a while so that's not really the complex kind of thing that I expect from an MMO that I will be playing for an extended amount of time so as for a, for a game that is let, let's talk about the price again too I mean not the exact price because they might change that or whatnot, but this is in the higher end of the scale and I believe also, and I might be wrong, so check Here this for yourselves that is also a monthly sub on this game which is a payment model that has in the duration of about one year maybe a little bit more become extinct, basically Developers that one year ago did not realize that the payment model does no longer work uh, at launch soon after changed it. And most others have just went free to play or buy and then no one this up with microtransactions or some such. Uh, from the get go, from the game is launched. So never a month or so. Why does month like I'm one of those people that it took me a long time to to not be pissed off about microtransactions in free to play games because I eventually it's very important to me that you We've can't buy yourself an advantage over someone else. That takes a whole lot of the fun out of the game for me if people can do that. Um, but let's for the sake of like if you can balance it right then there's many models and I, that wasn't really what I wanted to talk the most about in this video I will let the world know of your righteousness <laughs> but if you can balance it correctly then uh, it can be some pretty fair way of doing it like with the whole only cosmetics and those kind of like boosters it's it's okay they have to make money somehow and the reason you can't have monthly subs is because there is when the monthly sub thing worked there was like two, maybe three MMOs in the world, <laughs> on the market. A few more. Uh, now there is 50 or 60 active quality MMOs around that people can choose from. People cannot afford to, like, and people will play all the MMOs. Uh, and people cannot uh, afford to, to pay f f monthly for anything. And if you're going to force that, you have to be either World of Warcraft or you have to have like an insane amount of things and to do in the game. And this being a theme park, you're competing against WoW in terms of content, which I'm uh, just good luck there. Yeah. Anyways, enough said about that. So it's a stupid payment model. They will never make it with that. It's uh, they should might as well just change to free. F Free to play immediately. That's that's my opinion, and they shouldn't even they shouldn't charge anywhere near as much for the initial purchase of the game either. That is my opinion. Even how much as I like the game to play it, the fun of it, that's just stupid. Let's try some other weapons. Then again. 
one might speculate that this running simultaneously as a TV series, they might, and I, this is not, well, I maybe shouldn't even say it, but they might not have really planned for this game to be a game that people play for years and years and years on end, since it runs together with the TV series, but who knows. Okay, uh, other weapons. What else have we to try here? Dead bolt we have VTD VOD VTD bolter. Something large is moving underground. Downpour pulser that we've had for a long time, didn't we? What is that even? Why doesn't it want to change? Okay, well we should try one and one then. Is that the bolter? Woo! Cool sight. Banger! It's a big bug over there. Whatever that guy's shooting with, I want to. Not really a very. Whoa. whoa, whoa, did I aggro that guy? This is a like, very fast sniper rifle in terms of reloading speed. Uh, not really very high damage, I have to say. Although that was my headshot. Let's try another weapon. Uh, that one. That's the one I had before. Oh, go away! Oh, oh, oh. Invisible! Invisible! You, you take that thing. Shoot him in his ass. That seems to be where he's supposed to be hit. No, no, no. Oh, he's the one that does it. Oh. Oh. Jeez, active dodging works. <laughs> Why is he angry at me? Those guys have been shooting him for much longer than I have. Ow! Oh, oh laggy. Get of that thing. Let's try another weapon. Uh, VBI LM43 Thunder. Not really very interesting. Let's try something else. Short barrel shotgun. Oh, we tried something like that before in the, one of the first episodes. Nano fragger. Ooh! Well, that's pretty cool. It's only one shot though. I need to find something to shoot at. Hmm. Is there something in here? Are these guys evil? Yeah, they are. Hello! Just come out here so I can shoot you at closer range. I'm under fire. Bang! <laughs> nice. <laughs> They're burning. Yeah, I know what that feels like. It's a blitzer. We have blitzers in Norway where I come from. They're not exactly like this. But not so far from it. Cover me! Come on! <laughs> Fun. Oh, rocket launcher. Oh, that's a cool weapon. I like it. Nice, nice. What's going on there? Oh, there's one more. Okay, let's let him on fire too. Hello! Bang! <laughs> oh, this is like a hand cannon. I enjoy this weapon. For sure. What else do we have? <laughs> a nano fragger, that one was. Ever see sword off shotgun? Short battle shotgun? Auto sniper rifle. Well, we're gonna try these two shotguns and the auto sniper rifle. For sure. Hello? Let's see. Oh! Split into two. Yeah. Bang! <laughs> Disintegrate. Uh, 
that's right. Give me all your money. You blitzer. Okay, so that was one. Try short barrel shotgun. Oh, that's just this thing. Not so interesting. Auto sniper rifle. There are many other types of weapons there. I'm not sure why I don't have those. Uh, but I can't cover absolutely everything in this video either. Let's see if we can snipe some up in this hill here. In just a second. Is anyone home? Is it empty? Is anyone over here? Nah. Okay. Well, this is the last weapon we're going to try in this episode, uh, which again is Whoa! Yeah. Things are going on. Which is the last episode of the beta coverage, as I mentioned. Uh, we'll be back with other videos though. Maybe more videos of this later. Uh, so, again, to summarize, I'm I'm really enjoying playing the game, and they have added some like weapon modifications and stuff, which brings a little bit more complexity to it. That's a plus. But at the end of the day, it's it's really it is a theme park, and it's quite simple. There's no group mechanics really. Those kind of things feed the rain. So, will it do well? Who knows? I mean, Super Mario isn't super complex either. That's sort of the category I would put this in. Anyways. And it's cross-platform, so it will probably... That's another... Whoa! Need to go invisible. Get away from here. Get those to fight each other or something, maybe? Yeah, so it's cross-platform. That's that's like the other big selling point. It's like on PC, on PlayStation 3, and on, on Xbox. What are these things? So it might sell quite a bit just from that. <laughs> Let's see. This should be semi-automatic. That guy has a shield. And it seems like he's actually blocking his front with that shield. I can't actually shoot him. I can drive over him though, apparently. <laughs> Come on! So for people that are... Again, and I don't really know... I don't really know what the point is of doing that. Like, to have it on, on all those cross-platform, because... Well, there is PvP in here, and people playing on a controller are always, always, don't even bother arguing with this. They're always going to be at a disadvantage versus someone playing with a mouse and a keyboard in PvP. You, you, yeah. No matter how good you are with a controller, you'll always lose to an equally good person on a mouse and a keyboard. So I don't know really if that's the best idea. It will bring more people into the same game world though, which is something a lot of games isn't even trying to do. Namely having a massive world. So that I like. I like that there's people in the world. Uh, I think that summarizes pretty much what I wanted to talk about in this episode. And uh, again, it's this is episode number 8, so there's a good total of 4 hours of gameplay that you can sit and watch through if you want to see how the game is to play before you make up your mind. Uh, all the videos are in the same playlist. It's not a playlist just for Defiance. It's a playlist where I noob around in games, but these are all in after each other. There's not no videos in between those, so if you find one of these, the other ones are right next to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, that you will come back for more and I certainly am looking forward to seeing you in the comments for this and those other videos. 
See you guys. Take care. Bye bye. Multiple targets. Let's take them out.